okay so hi guys this is abhishek and in today's video we are going to see how i created a macro which generates color palettes for both rgb and cmy fixtures so before hopping on to the part of how i created the macro first we should have a general overview of how palettes work in navalex titan so now we are having three types of fixtures in our workspace the one is platinum wash zfx pro excel the other one is color fusion and the third one is a generic rgb fixture okay so now let's try to create some color palettes and let me have red in high and the others in low and when i try to create a palette so here we can see there are three types of palettes the one is normal palette the other one is global palette and the third one is shad palette so let's see how a normal palette works so i am storing a palette in normal mode and we have a mark called n and let me locate the light so that the rgb values are changed to defaults and when i apply the normal palette the values are changed here so red green and blue so it changed to the values which i have set but when i try to change the values for the other fixture it doesn't change so see the red is at 100 green is at 100 but and the blue is at 100 so this palette works with only the fixture that i have created the palette with so in this case i have created the palette with this fixture the platinum wash cfx pro and it doesn't work with the color fusion and generic rgb so that's how normal palettes work let me clear this and now we can see about how global palettes work so let me toggle this color and let's give green at 100 blue at 0 as usual and when i try to store this now we are having global palette so let me store this and now we have stored green color so let me locate all those lights to initialize to the default color and when i apply the global palette here here we can see it turn to zero green turn to 100 and blue turn to zero as well and when i try to apply the palette to other fixtures it sits with them as well and it applies to them as well so same with rgb fixture so here the values are changed red zero green 100 and blue turn back to zero so this is how global palettes work and there's one more palette type shad palette so let me go with color fusion and generic rgb and look at them clear yeah, and <laughs> let's go with blue this time blue 100 red 0 green 0 so when i go to the palette as shad palette so here we are having a mark called s so now this palette work only with the selected palette that i have chosen so in case color fusion let's locate them and if i select color fusion the values are instantly changed if i select rgb the values are instantly changed as well but in, when i select the platinum wash which i didn't use to create the palette the palette is blocked and i can't use it so this is how shad palettes work so now we know how palettes work we can go to the part how i created this macros so why i selected the fixture before creating the macro it's because every moment while recording a macro will be recorded so be before recording a macro if i selected the fixture it will only record the wheel movements which i do here so let me store red green blue as 00 and try to store it here as a global palette remember store every palette as a global palette don't select it as a normal or any other type of palette store it as a global palette then only it will work with any other fixture you will be selecting so next i'll toggle 
red to 100 next green to 100 and then blue to 100 and everything at 100 which is generally white and again everything at black so that's how so that's pretty much it and we have created the color palettes which we require and let me give it clear a few times and stop recording the macro so now if we go to the show library our macro will be existing so i will copy the macro which four which i have created and paste it here and delete the color palettes which i stored and let me select all these three fixtures with for which i need the color palette and when i activate the macro so it just automatically generates the colors that i need so in this case red green blue and white so now i'll go to the show library once again and select the RGB color generator which is a macro I have generated just like this and paste it here and let me delete this color palette and when I activate this color generator so it just generates all the colors which I will be using in an instant so I don't have to manually scroll through the wheels and store palettes each and individually so now this palettes work with any other fixture so here, here you can see red red 100 green 0 blue 25 so here the red green and blue is 100 and blue is 100 green 80 and the fun part is it works with any other fixture so you can apply it to any other fixture you want okay so now that i have created this macro i can use it with any other show file that i want to so let's create another show file so you know temporarily and i'll patch a fixture so again generic you know, generic rgb fixture so, let's have it. it's totally optimal what fixture you are selecting and let's go to groups and palettes and let me copy my macro so show library and let me select the macro with which like the macro i created and let me paste it here and when i select it and give it all of my colors which i generated are here so which is approximately some 25 to 28 colors so yeah the macro can when you export the macro you can use it on any other show file you want and the colors will be in your hand in an instant so that's it on how i created the macro and if you have any other doubts you can dm me on instagram at z dot lightings and that's pretty much it so yeah this is abhishek signing off